Hello, welcome back to Death's Cold Embrace. We have just followed Robert from his bedroom down to the crypt where we need to meet him. Unfortunately for us, he locked the door to the crypt behind him. And the alternate route through the vents that we used last time, or that we discovered last time, has been sealed off. So we need to find the, the key to the crypt. Last time we were here, I can't remember where we found it, but what I do remember is there was a note from Lord Highwater saying he'd entrust the key to the, to the crypt to one of the servants for the, you know, while they were away. What that suggests to me is that this time around, which I should expect that Lord Highwater has the key to the crypt. Now, Lord Highwater himself, I think I, think I knocked him out earlier, and I've already looked at his office and it wasn't there. But I have not checked his bedroom, which is the bedroom here on the third floor. So I guess that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make my way back to the bedrooms and see if I can find the key to the crypt in Lord Highwater's bedroom. Not in the broom closet, no. Uh, this is not a good way to go. There's way too much noisy floor there. Or maybe not. I can't hear any guards. Just go for it. Uh, that's the game room and such. You saw nothing, sir? Probably just the sir checking up on things. Absolutely. Let us try and deal with this guard before he sees us. Oh. Ability to lean forward and, and uh, hit people is very, very handy. Alright. Who's there? Is someone back? Oh, well, there's no one back there. I'm just looking for a good place to leave this fellow so nobody will find him unless someone in the game room. I guess here it's dark enough. Uh, we're on the wrong side of the house. There's uh, the guard in the ballroom. Well, there's my last moss arrow. Hopefully it will be worth it. He's not looking. What's that? Nothing. Whoops, I meant to turn it off. Not on. Right, back up our lovely, mossy, silent path. And back up to the bedrooms. So it's quite nice actually coming back. Usually I don't like revisiting the same maps again, but it's quite nice knowing the way around the house this time around. Let's break into Lord Highwater's bedroom. So, after their last incident, they got all the locks changed. Unfortunately, they uh, obviously went with a cheaper provider, a cheaper locksmith. Because last time I couldn't pick these locks. This time I can. Works for me. Right, Lord Highwater's bedroom. He has a secret safe here. Is there anything I need in it? In it? Let's find out. Put it to my face. There is a little necklace. There's no key to the crypt. Well, loot is always good, but uh, not really what I'm after. More loot. Uh, any notes? No. Nothing on the cabinet. It's not going to be in his bathroom, surely. Is there anything worth stealing in this bathroom? Also, no. Let's save some electricity here. Um, right. So, I thought that, you know, his bedroom would be the place to look since his office didn't have any keys. Can I get on top? No, I can't. It's too high. But it appears that his bedroom is not where the crypt key is, so 
as nice as that was, in th as an idea, that's not really going to work. I guess we try Lady Highwater's bedroom next. diary. That's uh, an old diary entry. Here we are. They're coming back. January 18th. Oh my goodness, the estate was robbed one night while we were gone. I feel so violated and I'm in fear for our safety now that we're home again. What if this thief in the dark comes back? Alan has assured me he is hiring more guards, but the fact that no one seems to have seen the intruder is alarming, especially since he seems to have gotten into most rooms in the mansion. He even took some of the children's valuables, and Alan seems distraught over the loss of some business documents as well. Apparently the intruder even got into Alan's office safe. He must be a very talented thief, not some common cut purse. 19th. I have told the children to firmly lock their doors all night and not come out, but I have to worry about my precocious little Anne who so loves to sneak and romp about the mansion at night. I think I'll ask Henry to stand guard outside her door to make sure she stays put, at least until Alan has upgraded our security and we feel safe from another break-in. 20th. Alan also noticed Robert's demeanour. He is very sullen and withdrawn. I have to think that he and his paramour are having an argument, or perhaps she has broken things off with him. I'll try to press him for information, but I don't want to overstep my bounds. That would only push him further away. 21st. Oh, horror! There was another break-in during the night, but only in the barracks, thank goodness. Alan says that Captain Ellensworth has perished while defending against the intruder, and that Roger is now Captain of the Guard. Although it is not right, I must admit to a small, small amount of relief at the thought of that man being gone as he could sometimes be cruel to the staff. I know he was a fierce and capable leader, but his iron fist at times drew blood, and I don't like the thought of that happening to my staff. They deserve better. And I know I'll have naught to worry about with Roger, for he's a good leader and loved and respected by everyone. Once again, these people seem to have uh, misremembered uh, what actually happened last time. You know, the fact that no one seems to have seen the intruder, although I have full guards chasing me down the street, basically from the get-go. Oh well, you know, they I shouldn't complain if they are uh, a little more generous uh, in their recollection of me than I deserve. Maybe maybe that's why Garrett has this uh, reputation as a master thief. Not because he never gets seen, but just because everybody conveniently forgets about it afterwards. Right, so Lady Highwater also does not appear to have the key. So let's guess we check all the bedrooms. Now I can't go into the kids' bedrooms. Now there was a guard out here, wasn't there? Oh no, he's gone. So we can check Robert's room in a minute. Alright. So, that's not loot. Robert's room. Now, like, if Robert had the crypt key here, he would have taken it with him, since he's just gone to the crypt, you know, it doesn't really make sense. Let's check his little secret uh, passage, and his, oh, he's got his diary to here too. Let's see what he's thinking about events. Uh, 18th. I managed to enjoy our winter retreat. It was good to spend time with my brothers and sisters, but I could not keep my mind from Julia and immediately came to my room to gaze on a picture upon our return. I cannot wait to see her. I hope it is in the next few days. 19th. This is mad. Lord Fairbanks must have learned of our love, for Julia's brother Edwin has challenged me to a duel. I cannot bear the thought of our love causing such pain, but I must stand up both for our love and against the feud. We meet in the St. Alden's graveyard at the stroke of midnight. 20th. Oh, Builder! Builder, what have I done? Julia tailed Edwin to the duel and intervened, and in the haze of battle, Edwin struck her down. Oh, my love! How can I bear to live without you? And I cannot even attend your funeral because of the bloody feud. I will find a way, even if I must sneak into St. Eldon's and remain in the shadows like a common thief. Uh, oh well, his, his little hidey hole is sealed shut as well. Okay. So no, nothing in his diary about what he's thinking now, and his uh, adventure book with Julia's picture is no longer there. And once more, there is absolutely nothing of interest in the bathroom. So much for Roberts, okay? No keys there. 
And I expect these doors are also going to be unopenable. The children have locked themselves in and barricaded the doors and nailed them shut. They shall never be seen alive again. Right, and I've been around the library and the office, so there's really nothing more on this floor, I think. Let's check them out. Library, sitting room, office, yeah. The upper floor, is, the key's not going to be on the upper floor of the foyer, surely. So, I haven't been to the dining room, I haven't been to the game room and parlor, and I know there's people in both of those. Perhaps one of those people or somewhere in there is where I shall find this key. So, back downstairs once more. It's, uh, uh, dining rooms this way, isn't it? It's... Who was that I heard? I don't know. Well, dining room's empty, so that's good for my purposes. Leap across the noisy floor. Steal a few more candlesticks. Earn new objectives. Did we get a bonus? A nice hole of loot, all things considered. Lord Highwater will certainly get by without it. Do you need a bonus objective to get 2,000 or something loot? Oh, nothing in the dining room. Let's go around to the other side. Where is this key? So it's, it's an unfortunate aspect of the design of this mission. So you have a key. That, and indeed the previous one in this house. So there's been so much time just searching for keys, not actually... Making good progress on more interesting tasks. Generally, there's uh, more clues about where keys and such like are to be found. Unfortunately, there isn't this time. So there's somebody behind the bar. There's lots of lights. Will they see me in the doorway? No. Doors open as well. Where's the light switch? Carefully open just one of the doors. Can I? Oh. There we are. Hello. In there. Once again, the physics was uh, rather odd. The leaning around corners and manipulating items seem to have some, seems to still have some bugs. I don't even remember them from the uh, original game, but uh, maybe it's not a situation. Help! Help! They came up very often. In oh, here. hey! I, I know you didn't see me. <gasps> You didn't see anything, it's alright, it's no problem. Nothing in there. A little in there. Another coin under the table, none on the table. And a guard in the parlor who's not looking our way. So let's. Oh, and a servant who's also not looking our way. Let's make sure they don't look our way again. And that if anyone does happen to. Poke their nose in here, they won't see any bodies in the dark. But. You didn't have a key, did you? No. And not yet, and you? Nope. Uh, I don't think. Nope, no key on your belt. Well, so much for the parlor and game room. They are. not of any use to me. Where to next? He doesn't have a key, right? Turn around, good sir. But no, I don't think he does. Oh dear, so, I mean, I do have to go to the foyer and see what's happening there. Can't hear anybody. So let us be bold. Keys? Nope. Lights though, I can turn the lights off. 
Balcony. No keys. I thought I saw a note here on the pillar, but it's just a pattern on the pillar. Okay. Well, this is uh, frustrating. Once again, I find myself hunting for keys, which is really not the most exciting form of gameplay, either to play or to watch. So, I fear once more I'm going to have to go to the forums and search for the solution, because I really don't want to take a lot of time to wander around until I randomly happen across the key. Although... Wait, where did I get this old key from? Wait, what? There's the key to the gates outside that I've already used, and I've just noticed I've got an old key in my pocket. Where did that come from? Uh, don't tell me I've had that all along. Uh, there's the book, there's the note. Uh, right, that's embarrassing. It does appear that I already have the key to the crypt. If I remember right, the old key was the key... Was it the key to the crypt outside crypt door, or was it the key to... That's the wrong side of the map. Or was it the key to the door inside the crypt? Guess I'll find out. Because I was just thinking, maybe maybe that key for the outside gate also is the key to the crypt door, but uh, that would have seemed, that seemed silly, but I noticed I've still got this old key on me. Well, I don't know where I picked it up, or at what point, or whether I've had it all along, but uh, here we are, in the crypt, uh, where we needed to be, after a little bit of a diversion. But uh, so far so good. So now there was a secret door that was activated from right here, and some chests down here with uh, loot, which would probably be no more loot, right? They're probably empty. Yeah. But well, worth checking just in case, you know, and you know to show them that it's the same thief who's just broken in here. We need to go find Robert. Very dark and foggy down here now. And lots of torches are out. I have a bad feeling about this. So I'm gonna just make a save. I wonder if we're gonna meet that robotic woman down here again. Hopefully not. Oh, poor kid. He's made a shrine to Julia. Maybe Fairbanks' crazy scheme will work and they'll be reunited. Dear Robert, ah, oh, this is this is Julia's letters. He's uh, he's left them on the shrine. Okay. There's his book with her picture, and there's a key. Oh, it's a second crypt key. Not that I need it now. All right. But if Robert's not here at the shrine, then where is he? Is he in his uh, grandfather's crypt? So that's the other end of the vent that is now sealed off. Well, there's this door is open. Somebody's in here. Or, or not. What are you doing here? Prepare to meet your fate, thief. Calm down. Brother Thaddeus sent me to find you. Brother Thaddeus? Why should I believe you? He gave me this note to give to you. You should recognize his handwriting. It appears you speak the truth, thief. So, you're this Garrett he mentions in the note. Yes. And Lord Fairbanks is truly trying to bring Julia back? From beyond the grave? He hopes to. But without your help, you'll fail. At least according to this.
true love? Supposedly that's you. There's nothing supposed about it, Garrett. We were destined to be together. Until... I know about the duel. Are you willing to go alone to the Fairbanks Manor in Dayport and be there for the ritual? I have to go to the cemetery for some unpleasant business. Yes, I must. If Julia can be returned, I'll do anything to help. Although, it smells of a trap. Fairbanks has dismissed his entire staff, and Lady Fairbanks left in frustration, not understanding what's going on. So the house is empty aside from Fairbanks. There is no trap. I want to believe you, Garrett. I do. I miss her so, but I must still be on my guard. I'd do the same in your position. Believe me. All right, here's the plan. You leave here immediately for the church. And please do not try to harm any of my staff on your way out. In a little while, I'll go and see our family nurse, Mary, and ask for a cold remedy for a friend. I'll make up something about going to see a sick friend in Stone Market, but then I'll make my way to Dayport instead. I'll go by Thaddeus' apartment first, give him the remedy, and help him get to the Fairbanks place. If what you say is true, we should be able to just walk in the front door. Yes, and the ritual is to take place down in some caverns below the manor. I left the secret door open in the library. You'll probably have to carry Thaddeus down the ladder in his condition. No problem. He's a dear friend. I would do anything for him. All right, then. Off I go. Take care, Garrett. You as well. Well, oh, goodbye, Robert. Hello, Loot. So, there was uh, no unexpected twists there. Uh... Right, we got inside to find him. Now we just have to get back out to the south entrance and continue not to kill anyone. Should be easy enough. Well, leave, give your passing respects at the shrine there. Nothing seems to have changed. Let's just lock him in here, shall we? Ha ha! Not that the game will recognize that. It's... Okay. To the kitchen. To the south gate. Is that this one? I think it is. Oh. <laughs> there are still guards out here. Well, it's alright. We've uh, finished the mission. Right, uh, that was shorter than most. We found nearly all of the loot this time. And there were no secrets this time. So, uh, let's see what the next mission has for us. Waking the dead. In order to dig up Julia's body, you're going to need a shovel. Surely with all the graves in the cemetery, there's one around here somewhere. The main order of business is to find Julia's grave and exhume her body so you can return with her to the Fairbanks Manor in Dayport. However, you need some insurance in case this whole plan fails, and trying to loot the place while carrying your body around won't be very convenient. Find 2,200 loot before you dig up Julia's body. Okay. Garrett the Grave Robber. Are we buying equipment or starting with some? objectives. Uh, right, find a shovel, find Julia's grave, get 2200 loot before. You won't be able to climb the wall where you dropped in with a body on your back, so you'll have to risk exiting the church through the main front en entrance. Head there once you have Julia. What do we have? We have our lockpicks, compass, that's it. I 
can hear footsteps as well, but hopefully not coming this way. Let's check the map. So, we dropped... Wow, this is an enormous cathedral. We dropped in here. The front entrance is up there. Oh, there's lots of small rooms, and none of this really looks like a graveyard, right? Well, that's the only map there is. Maybe that's a graveyard. Or here. Or maybe there. I Seems unlikely. That seems the most likely spot from its location, though I'm not sure about the uh, architecture there. But that would be in the south, in the centre, and we're in the northwest. Let's see what we can find here. Frozen fountain. A door. Wait. We, oh, that's the west. So we climbed over there. We can go. Anything down here? For righteousness on the brows of heathens and miscreants. Oh, great master builder. Basement. I have ten more arrows. Four more arrows. Three red arrows. And my blackjack and sword. Well, we can get in here, and I should be able to get back out again, so why not? This is a nice, quiet area. So you want to do the Macarena. It's an interesting book to read in the uh, basement of the cathedral. Where did this fellow go? Is it... Went to sleep in his macarena corner. So was it him I heard muttering or was it a guard? Well, it did sound like a guard, but uh... Ten more arrows. This is a. I kind of want to keep them if I can. Until the places I need them. I can't open that. This guard did not appear to come down here. So let us see what is up here. of nasty tiled floors and no dark shadows. Thankfully nobody was close enough to hear us, but uh... I don't like it here. I feel like we're gonna get uh, somebody walking into us at any moment. Where's my compass? Where are we? Facing east. So we dropped into basement sort of around here. We've only got one map that kind of shows it as a singular floor. I can't be right. Facing east down a long narrow hallway. It doesn't seem to fit anything on here. It's not that, is it? Perhaps it is, yeah, it might be this hallway. Alright, so if I go out here and turn right... Yeah, that'll be the stairs down to the basement then. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I've got a loot, so I should really explore everywhere. So let's go back and see what's out in these little rooms. There's a here, is there? That's a carpet. Alright, there's no sign of anyone. Bookshelf, nothing on it. Desk, what's his note say? Brother Wayne, 
Makest thou sure thy secret room contains a plentiful battery of armaments in the event of attack from these upstart mechanists. A goodly supply of holy water might also be advised, as the undead art always a threat in truth. As our esteemed leaders doth say, preparation maketh the builder's child. Thy brother in arms, brother Prather. Well, he has a secret room that has a very secret switch uh, right here. Nope. Has not this, uh, has not a secret room switch. Okay, that's just the lamp switch. Okay, nice. That's the secret room switch. Yeah, okay. And he's been reading, reading hidden vulgarities in the scriptures of the master builder. Uh, somebody come in this way. Be quiet. Close the door to reduce the distance our sound travels. Can I get through that? No, I go around again. So here is a very dark heavy hole. Is there a light switch? There's a light, apparently, but no switch. I don't have any flares. Alright, I'm just gonna have to like this. Oh, flash bombs. Thank you. And a flash mine. Water arrow, another water arrow, three water arrows and a vial of holy water, healing potion, invisibility, and some money. Well, no armaments uh, for fighting people or mechanists, but uh, plenty of water arrows, and the holy water is a bad sign. That's, that's going to open the cupboard, isn't it? do anything. The holy water is a bad sign. That means we're going to be facing the undead. So I'm guessing when we find our way to the cemetery there's going to be zombies or hopefully hopefully not. But uh, hammer haunts are another possible threat. There's a guard out here earlier but I can't hear him now. Yeah, here he comes. Let's quickly hide. I don't think he saw us. Perhaps mine ears do trick me. Right, so he's out there. He hopefully won't hear us in here. What does it say? More diaries. Six Jan. Brother Philip spied my special new gems on my desk today, though he thought better of saying aught about them. He thinks it best to hide them throughout the cathedral to ensure only I know where they are. My brethren are righteous men, but there be no need to tempt them. 8th Chan. Tis done, and the hiding places are most clever. Only the most astute or the most acrobatic would ever find them. While looking for good locations, I did notice that the forgotten balcony, accessible only by ladder or grapple, be in desperate need of cleaning. Brother Maynard will want to send a novice to tend to it soonest. Nice short diary and uh, a hint that he has left gems scattered around for us to find for our uh, loot goal. So, let's start there. We have 385 of 2200 that we need. There's nothing else here. Oh, there is. 400? Okay. But he won't have a secret room, I'm sure. Has our. Voluble friend departed for the present. If I have my directions correct, this is, goes out to where we started. But it's locked and I don't have a key, but maybe this is the key here. What do you know? Yeah, so that's where we started. Darker, darker is always good. So this is fountain here, is this holy water? No, it's not in here. Paddle in it. Gems, huh? Gems hidden all around the cathedral. He didn't even say how many. Lord and finery do mock the builder who maketh their forms. And will 
They regret their choice when the end comes. Right, you sir, you can hide here. I would throw him in the fountain, but he would drown and die, and, uh, you know, I don't have an objective not to kill anyone, but it's, you know, generally better not to. Bow before the builder, or not. Oop, something else. Seems to be the main hall of the cathedral. Is that a shield or a banner? Looks like a banner. Nope. Sounds like a banner, but doesn't break. Alright, I don't think I want some light in here. Actually, you know what? I will not waste them. Given that we've been given a vial of holy water and there's talk of the undead, that pretty much guarantees we're going to be meeting undead and I might want all my water arrows for uh, use with the holy water to deal with the undead. Since the zombies in this game, you can't you can't uh, kill them in any other way. You can fight them with your sword, but they merely fall down, and we'll get back up again very shortly. So let's use our plus one blackjack of knockouts on this lovely fellow. What was it? And then we have this room to ourselves. Does he have goggle eyes on his uh, uniform? He does. I'm not sure if that's what it's meant to be, but uh, I'm just seeing a little ma a little face there with the, the hammer as kind of a very oddly shaped mouth, screaming in agony at being stuck on the front of this hammerite. Well, okay, what's up here? Why does this place look familiar? It's very, I guess it's because it's architecturally similar to the chapel, but it's not the same chapel. Alright, uh, Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regiments, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 2. And the thief upon his capture did cry to the master, Release me, for I repent and shall do good all of my days. Then did the master strike the thief's hand from him with a blade, and the master said, Go now, thief, and do good, for thy repentance hath been paid. And the thief did go, and did he good, for he had no hand with which to steal. Was that his second defense then? And he'd lost both hands now. Alright, where's this go? This connects back to where we've been? No? And uh, no, this is an entirely new area, okay. This cathedral is big and I'm sure I will get lost in it many times. Who do I hear there? Has someone come? Nay. And the word went before him. Yeah, it was only rats. It's too it's not dark anywhere in here. Oh, so he's patrolling around. Oh, it's dark in this in this alcove. Coming back or going around? Oh, I know this one way. Where's the compass? Yeah, we were at that end looking this way. And then I decided not to come this way. Here he comes back. No, somebody else. So we've been down here already. Yep, and it is. Well, there's a dark corner here. <coughs> okay. There is still, I think, a guard wandering. Where's my patch of darkness? Stairway. Anything hidden under the stairs? Nope. We'll 
go upstairs later. Oh, here comes someone again. I think it might be the same guard and he is making a circuit. Yes. Stop that, good sir. A stairway will provide a nice place to uh, leave your body out of sight. Thou thinkst thou saw me. Needs must I calm my nerves. Needs must you calm your nerves indeed. Right, let us have a look on top of this beam. In case this is one of the places where the most acrobatic of people needs to go to find the gems. What do you know? That's eleven hundred worth, that's a valuable gem. I don't know how many of those there are, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So back down our rope, if I can. I won't go that way yet, uh, because there's a guard there. So that's where we were just in this room, and that guard is standing here. So we will need to go that way eventually, because I think that's where the graves are. But we can go back here and back into the main hall and explore this area near the front entrance. So let's make sure the front entrance is clear because we will need to leave that way. Which is the forgotten balcony as well? Perhaps that up there. You mentioned that it needed cleaning that suggests he was up there hiding his gems. I shall also check See if anybody left anything on these pews, but it seems unlikely. Oh! Never say no. Who's that out here? Someone else not here. Alright, so this is the front entrance. It does appear to be... Leader of guards already, that's good news for me. So I can get there through those front doors quite easily. Another stairway. These doors closing behind me is uh, spooky. I don't like it. It never happened in the original games except in uh, the Haunted Cathedral, which, as its name implies, was haunted. But this one, this cathedral is not supposed to be haunted. Right, oh, maybe that's the Forgotten Balcony. That seems, certainly seems out of the way. Well, there's another balcony there. How do I get up there? Oh, there's a doorway there. Okay. So I can get up there from the stairs. Presumably that. Oop. Who goes there? Oh. Maybe he's upstairs. Yeah, okay. More stairs and I think we're back in the main hall. Yeah, he's, he's going to be up there, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Let's check the other side. Oh, we have these, these ledgers with saints on them. Let's get up there to see if there's anything up there, so... There's definitely people wandering around upstairs. But it doesn't bother me too much. So what is that gentleman doing? Walking very fast. <coughs> Do 
just walking around this and admiring it from different angles. Wow, look at all the feet. Oh no, it's four, it's four different figures. I thought it was one with like a bunch of feet in a circle. Come on, sir, come around here so I can uh, do something nasty to your head with this blackjack. No? Can I reach these candles to blow them out? Oh, two of them. Hear me? Nope. He is wandering around admiring things though. Don't make me come get you. Because it's noisy if I do that. Because you've got these tile floors everywhere. Way, sir. Also, why do you walk quite so fast? That's uh, unusual. Come here. I wish to introduce you to my good friend. Here, not there. Let's just do it. If there'd been other guards within hearing range, they might have been alerted by my footsteps, but they weren't. Impatience. Impatience is occasionally useful. So what was he admiring over here? The uh, angel or demon telling somebody something scary because they uh, don't look very happy and we have another staircase come on hide something under one of these please no all right and this goes back out to the front gate so we are we have gone right round okay Let's just check the map to see what we explored. So that was this section and this section, both covered. I think I've seen that room. Yeah, because I came that way. And then we came, also came around here. So, where else to explore? Upstairs, I guess, is obvious. We need to go upstairs. We've got a bunch of stairways. Two by the front entrance, two here. There's one there. Just take the closest one and uh, start exploring the upstairs area. For loot? Or should I come here first? Looking at this now, I'm not sure, maybe that is not the graveyards and the graveyards are all out here. This is not coloured like the indoors. That's, that was outdoors. This is outdoors. I'm not sure about this. But that is all. All the indoors are white and so I'm guessing this is outdoors and that's indoors. So I should... Let's let's finish exploring this floor first. Let's come down here and see what we have here. Which is... That's front door, so that's this way. Wait. No, that's the outdoors. That and that is crypts and stuff. So that is, that is the graves. Is indeed where we will need to go. Um, so this is the way I meant. Anyone here? We have a lot of candles. Garrett, use a big breath. Blow them all out at once. No. All right. So this is this room, I guess. studying or snoozing. He's been hard at work reading and falling asleep. 
And he's got money <laughs> hidden behind his books. That's his, uh... What's the book? Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens and Rules of Conduct, Volume 94. Guard thy tongue from falsehood as thou guardest thy purse from a jacker blade. Guard thy hand from misdeed as thou guardest thy health from violators. Guard thy heart from doubt as thou, guard as thou guardest thy tools from corrosion. For thy faith and thy tools are the best that thou hast. Nine, volume 94. Well, these guys are very uh, big on rules, so I'm imagining they've got a good many more volumes than that. Who do I hear? You should learn to sing better, sir. And also, stay out of my way. Go sit there. Alright, so that's another door to the graveyard area. I'll come back that way later. But now, let's put out some more candles. Where does this go? Also outdoors. Alright, so this is the little courtyard here that I have not seen. It's got a well in it. Yeah, that's this door. All that room. So, anything out here? It's just a courtyard, oddly in the middle of the cathedral. There's another frozen well with money in it and water arrows. Okay. Great. Nice beard. Oh, there's a balcony up there. Or not. No, just a. Not a balcony, just a protrusion. Nothing in the well. I can climb onto it, though I don't know why I want to. There's a statue with a lantern. I wonder who lights it. That must be hard to get to. Now, oh, there's open windows. But nothing that looks like wood up here, so no climbing I can do. I check them out. So, that goes back to the hallway we've already been to. Yeah. Our favourite hallway. Come back here and south. There was there was a guard in this room, so I'll come this way and see if I have a better approach to the guard than I did from the other direction. I think that's him I hear whistling. Oop. Someone doth come in some direction. Oh, they're walking away from us. So that is the guard I was talking about. He is patrolling. It's through here. A library. With people in it. It's strange to have two doors side by side into the same room. Where goest thou? Standest thou somewhere where I can <coughs> get behind thee and nick thy purse off thine belt? Well, more ladders on top of bookcases. Let's make sure the library is clear before I do too much climbing. Otherwise, I'm quite liable to make noise and alert people, and that's not so good. The builder's chariot wheels in the sky. Anybody else in the library at this time of night? No? Should be it all good? Let's loot with... So where is this guard? Be able to get him as he comes around here, and then I will have free reign 
of the library without fear of being chased. Well, not the chase of being chased is a problem, without fear of being hit on the head by these very large, very hard, very fast swung hammers that they have. Who oh. goes there? Tis no one. Show thy face. Forever. He actually saw me, at least. Not enough to chase me, but enough to be. On these rats. <coughs> oh, okay, he stops. Good sir! <coughs> that has a friend. <coughs> I do not like their friend. <coughs> Oh, there's an upstairs. There's, there's the friend I heard. Okay. I'll just close the doors in case I make noise falling off bookcases, which is more than likely. And if the doors are closed, the sound does not propagate. And they do not hear. Or at least it doesn't propagate half as well. Right, so... Any loot? I'm still looking for loot. I'm still looking for these secret gems. Let's start by looking up on the bookcases. <laughs> Nothing atop this one. Carefully now, Garrett. No. <coughs> Out. And noise. You know, this is why I made sure there was no one around. No loot, no books to read. What about <laughs> on top of this bookcase? Thing. Nope. Can't really, it's a bit too dark to see from there. So let's try it. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. No. Come on, Garrett, you can do it. Or not. Maybe not. Alright, let's assume I can't get on top of that one for now. Uh, I looked at that book already. I'm not going to scale the bookcases. In detail, it will take way too long, but I will climb the ladders and look at where they lead me. <laughs> Anything on here? Nope. Once again, too dark to really see anything, and I did not hurt myself that time. An improvement. Oh, look at this stool. It's the same as the ones to open the secret room in the other man's library. Brother Hansel's note on the builder's chisel. Many of our works doth mention the chisel. I have found these most inspiring. Then did the builder lay down his hammer and take his chisel to hand. Smoothed he the rough gem and shaped it to his will, for each task hath its tool and every tool a task. A stroke of thy chisel once made cannot be undone, but a stroke thou dost not make from fear is a worse flaw. Be not cautious, be correct. To use thy chisel is to blunt its edge against the stone. To not use thy chisel is to waste its edge. Very inspiring indeed. As I shall remember that next time I find myself with a chisel. <laughs> Anything up here? No. Come on, surely you've... With the notes about only the most acrobatic people being able to find your gems, you must have hidden some in this library. But it made me it appears not. Did I read that? Hammerite Guardian Training Chapter 3 Proper Speech Suitable statements to make when thou hast seen, or thinkest thou hast, a thief or other unsavory person. Thinkest thou to make mock of me? Show thyself! Show thyself and end this trickery. The builder shall guide me to thee. Thou shalt regret thine intrusions. Cease thy hiding and die like a man. Do not think thou shalt escape me. If thou givest thyself up, it shall be best for thee. Aha! Builder, curse thee for a villain! That uh, explains why they all use the same phrases, because they're well trained in them. Alright, so there's one gold candlestick here, and apparently no other loot, or I am just too blind to find it. Let's check them out. So this is the library. There's, so there's a bookshelf, so that was what was confusing me about this. So let's just check these two rooms. 
And then I guess we go upstairs, and that's the closest staircase. So there is someone upstairs, which can't be too noisy, but it's thankfully stone and carpet. And another canister. It's not tiles, so I'm not going to be making too much noise just by walking. Stone is pretty quiet, carpet of course is dead silent. So, yeah, so that's the first place I checked and found uh, a gem on. Oops, and here is the stairs. To the second floor. I guess the first floor. Let me how you count. The second floor that we have explored in, in, at any rate. Brother Thaddeus, High Priest, the builder be with thee. chambers or nearby. There is somebody patrolling out here. Yeah, there he is. Let's see if I can knock him out as he passes. Or not, if he's going away. Right, let's have the lights on so I can see what I'm doing. Now, is that solid? No, right. Nothing to see any secret switches under the, thy desk or behind thy statues. Okay, apparently not. He has a very odd neck. How about secrets in thy bookcase? No? Well, there's, there's loot on top of the bookcase, that's fine. Surely one of these is a. There's a secret door behind one of those. The map doesn't really show where we are, so I can't really check the map to see if there's uh, any empty space, but... Uh... If I was building this room, I would be too tempted to hide a secret door behind one of these. So, you know, I'm impugning the designers with the same desire for secrets. Well... How didst imagine? And thou didst keep muttering as thou. Twas around here somewhere. You heard me. Let's just hope you didn't see me there. This much I do know. Thou shalt be mine soon enough. So he is not following those precepts in the book we just read. He's using entirely new phrases. Builder, curse thee for a villain! Hey, builder, that I mayst do the work thou choosest me to do. <sighs> right. Go sleep in the high priest's room. Okay, upstairs we have the library this way, I think. Where does this go? Oh, more library. The spooky lights. And suspicious panels. That maybe I just better lit and not actually suspicious, who knows. I want oh, loot, okay. Once again they appear to be breaking either I'm blind or they're breaking the first rule of libraries, in which it is and all libraries must have a secret passage or hidden chamber or other such At the very least, they're scattering a little loot around for me to find, which is pleasant. I'm at 1647, that's getting close to our target. Nice Latin, dude. Oh well, I, if there is a secret here, I am too blind to find it. That's the high priest, so it's this way. Those windows don't open, do they? No. Nothing behind the banner, okay. What is here? Someone else's room. Let's 
check these banners. Never know when uh, they hide secrets. And if not, at least I'm costing them some money. What's the book? Oh, apparently it's just a valuable book. All right. To the next room. Ah, so this is where overlooking that little courtyard of the well. Which you can't quite see, but there it fits. The windows I could see before. So now I could look down upon this statue and say, does he have any secret gems on his little pedestal there? And the answer appears to be no. Oh, and this door doesn't open. Alright, so this is a dead end. Odd, but I guess that's fine. We just need to go back down the stairs we came up. And use one of the other staircases for the rest of the neck of this floor. So we're here, and I guess the other staircases are in the north, so cross our hallway and uh, go through up this way. Through here. There, yeah, there is another guard patrolling upstairs, so I shouldn't be too rash. There's quite a few torches. Oh, there's a guard. Let's go here. So here's a balcony. Just the wind. What was that I heard? Just thy humming. Well, you collapsed in a nice dark spot, so you might as well stay there. Another balcony. Ah, is that the forgotten balcony? No, there's a door to that one. There's books and stuff. So really my question is where are all these other gems and where is this forgotten balcony the man spoke of that needed cleaning? And is there anyone else up here? Well, there's another balcony with a door. Uh, so that's... Where is that? Let me check the compass. I'm a little disoriented. Compass... That's north. Well, that's these two rooms. So there's balconies and a way across there. So I guess these stairs... So I went up this one and we can go back down that one. These stairs must connect to that balcony over there, alright. I don't... I guess I don't have to do any crazy platforming across this hammer, which I was afraid of. Maybe. Yeah, okay, it's so back down these stairs in the east. And out along here. And up here. Have I been through there? Yes, let's just go to the front gate. And hello! I will take thy loot. I should have checked to see, you know, zoomed in on the hammer to see if there's one of those secret gems hidden on top of it. So. Maybe we will never know. And this way. So they must like building staircases because they build these little alcoves uh, with staircases that go only there. The Adventures of Bobby Barrick, Volume 13, Winter in Summerland. And some more loot. Oh, that's just another leg of the chair, okay. Uh, no, let's go this way. Right, how are we doing for loot? 1987, that's not quite the 2200 we need, but it's getting close. 
I am just going to come back up to this floor and see if I can spot anything on top of that hammer. Uh, not this side. Not this side either, but there are these four statues and I could potentially climb onto them from here, but I don't think I need to. Let's just do the same, check the hammer, just in case. If that fellow hid one of his secret gems there, it'll be good to know. I can't see anything this side, but you know what, I want to give it a try. Whoop, wrong button. Disoriented. Save. And leap. Whoops. And I clipped, clipped through it partially. Nope, nothing up here. Ah! Oh. Ouch. Good thing I've got my vegetables. And probably that healing potion will need to be eaten as well. Bread. Is that all the food I've got? I think that's all the food I've got. Let's take the potion. Alright. So. We haven't hit our goal. Yet. Uh, of 2200, not quite, we're at, where's our loot? We are at 1987. And I do think we've explored everywhere in the cathedral interior that we can. So it's time to head east and explore the graveyard area. So let's go. And the doors here open directly onto it, I think. Wait, this way. This door leads right outside. Does it not? It does. So here we are, outdoors somewhere. We need to find Julia's grave and a bunch more loot. And there's a bunch of crypts that uh, appear not open. But some of them have loot in front of them. <laughs> and someone is patrolling. Ah, oh, it's just a guard. One fifty-seven. Maybe we will hit our uh, limit just by stealing these various offerings. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Objective complete. We've got twenty-two hundred. Obviously, there's more of those hidden gems around, but uh, I guess see, it's, I'm not trying to be exhaustive and get all the loot here. I'm really just interested in mission objectives and secrets as I find them. I like secrets, of course, but I'm not going to go out of my way to find them all while recording. Is there someone here walking around? I don't know. Fresh candles. Probably a fresh grave. It looks... The snow hasn't even settled on it. That must be Julia's. We will go there shortly. First, let us see if there's anything of interest in here, within this wall. I guess the answer's no. Alright. Oh, there is a guard. He now walks away. For a moment. Would you also like to sleep in the snow, sir? If thou be there. You were going to say something? <clears throat> nice skull. What's this? What's this building? Oh, it doesn't open. The shovel! We need a shovel! Or 
Alright, a grave digger shovel, shovel, the best kind for grave digging. Alright, let's check the next set of graves. More loot. More crypts, statues, and such. And another gate leading to where Julia's grave is. Alright, so, it has been an hour and 15 minutes, we have the shovel, we have all our loot, we have found, I believe, Julia's grave, this seems like an excellent place for me to end this episode, and take another tea break, before digging her up. So thanks very much for watching, and I will see you here very shortly.